This video was brought to you by Marcus Biel, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stolenberg, Camp Power, and Biel Componente. Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how fast the new Kia Soul 27 kilowatt hour battery is. What the heck is this thing? Well, you know, many souls they have bad batteries, first gen batteries, and then if you're lucky, you get a battery replacement on warranty for free right by kia so this is what you will see now it has the new battery the chemistry has been improved and it can actually take uh, 173 amp on a 200 amp chadamo charger normally you think of chadamo as 50 kilowatt well this ain't 50 kilowatt let's see so you see i also include eagle and i3 they are also from the same era and they are they are degraded and then the soul is branch banking new or fairly new so it's unfair ah, who cares and then also toss in ionic classic ionic and you will see that the classic ionic and the soul they have very identical well charging speed charging curve both of them hit 172 amp you see and then voltage is also very similar it's like almost the same uh, is this the same battery i'm not sure but very similar but look like the soul takes 62 63 kilowatt compare that to ego taking 41 kilowatt and then i3 takes 44 kilowatt okay slightly better but you will see soon that the i3 will start throttling and then the soul can just take nice and flat 63 64 kilowatt it's just limited by a number of amps seems like 172 173 amps is maximum for these korean cars but okay ego is steadily rising because also ego is also limited to 125 amp but it's uh, the voltage is is quite low and then look 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 at i3 i3 start throttling at 55 percent that is not very german uh, charging curve but then soul my soul is already at uh, almost uh, it's at 69 percent it goes so fast i can't even talk fast enough man it just charges blistering fast 65 kilowatt now way faster than the two german cars <laughs> i3 is down to 27 kilowatt what the heck man at only 65 percent okay now you see that the soul start throttling but this is this is Simply amazing it's the power of surprise it is so good uh, even at 80 percent it goes so fast you see we are at around 15 16 minutes only you can see the count in the middle of the e-golf uh, charging session there and now okay now it charges slower so okay but uh, it hit 85 percent or 84.5 percent quite schnell compared to the other but wait a minute e-golf is taking a little uh, nice flat curve here compared to the other because you see that the soul and the i3 they both charge at only around 13 15 kilowatt but then eagle has this nice flat ish curve okay it didn't go that fast in the beginning but now it has a uh, good gain on the others what about ionic okay ionic also keeps going but another thing i should mention is that soul previously first gen it stops at 84 percent it's actually 84.5 percent but now it actually goes to 94.5 percent that is a nice upgrade but uh wait how far did i go with the, these cars i don't remember eagle hit 90 percent oh nice eagle actually won to 90 percent oh ho, ho. the germans they still have it in it at least one of the germans the other german the the, the i3 uh, we don't talk to lala but it is char charging at only seven kilowatt holy crap how slow is it look how slow the i3 is i also think the i3 is the most expensive of them all man it's the most hype up and expensive and the slowest charging car of these three okay uh, or four whatever ionic also but ionic is more yeah okay newer but oh okay ionic uh, finished but you saw that ionic was charging slightly slower towards the end but then okay there soul hit 94.5 it cannot go to 100 but eagle man eagle would take the double win to 100 at least and then wait wait what about what about, what about huh? what? look look how slow the i3 i3 hasn't even hit 90 percent yet <laughs> What the heck, man? Are you a German or are you a Tesla? Or, I don't know. I mean, it goes so slow now. Uh, well, actually, Ego also goes kind of slow, but uh, there's no way that uh, the i3 is going to hit 90% before Ego hits 100%, right? Well, actually, now the Ego was really slow. Oh, shit, 2 kilowatt only. Cell balancing. No, 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 go. Ego hit 100% before i3 hit 90%. <laughs> um i think i even didn't even go to 100 percent on i3 because it takes forever yeah we might be thinking oh maybe you can just plug it in on ac and charge on ac we go faster I, i'm not sure the bms is nine just four kilowatt only so here you see that uh, the two korean brothers they go uh, yeah kind of follow each other but you see how much faster it is here what is this eagle okay eagle at least has some nice flat curve but it's just slow and then it drops towards the end and then the i3 is just yeah the, the second gen i3 is better 
But another thing I wanted to test is cold gate testing. So when the battery is cold, how fast is it charging? Leaf, for example, when the battery is cold, it charges really, really slow, dog slow. And then that also applies to many other cars, but with the Soul and also Classic Ionic, they put so much cobalt in there that it can actually charge quite fast. Cobalt is like steroids, you know, for batteries. So let's see. So now I compare a bunch of cars here, I mean a bunch of tests. We have then the, the 200 amp hypercharger, we have a Delta which supplies the 135 amp on the charging board. And then we have the cold session and see that the cold session still goes quite fast. It actually goes a little bit faster than the other, the, the middle. I think in the middle I had the car on versus the, the, the to the right when I had the car off. And actually when you have it on, it sucks a little bit of power which then makes the car charge slightly slower. So unfortunately the classic soles, they don't pull extra power from the plug if you're running heat or whatever so even if you are in a throttle state you know let's say you're taking only 30 kilowatt extra power to the heater still does not I mean, suck extra power from the charger unlike uh, ionic and maybe a later generation souls but uh, yeah you see that that the high <laughs> the one with the hypercharger the 200 amp charges really really fast it was just amazing how fast it was okay i go a little bit faster now but um, you can at least see how what it looks like and then even cold battery doesn't really make the car charge much slower it just you receive full speed okay at the very end there was a bit of slightly faster uh, earlier throttle but uh, in general even if you start with cold battery you get the maximum speed but you have to start from 10 percent if you start higher then i assume that um, you won't get the, the same speed but uh, still uh, this is probably is still pretty good so man this is this is impressive this is the perfect uh, press car shuttle for me then yeah there's a slight variation on which car finishes to 94.5 percent first and here we see that uh, as long as you are on the 200 amp charger, or this would also be the case if you use that uh, Chardemo to CCS adapter or CCS to Chardemo adapter, and we are charging at whatever uh, high power charger, we should also achieve this same awesome speed. I'm gonna see more about that once I receive the adapter. But here you see that, um, at least when it comes to the cold gate or the cold battery, you don't really take any penalty there until at the very end, maybe, let me see there, at around 75%, then the cold session tapers off slightly earlier than the warmer session. But from there, you see that we just have the same dip to 15 kilowatt and then so, wow, this, this is really impressive, man, how these cars charge. If you want the fast charging car, you have to get the classic Soul with a replaced battery. Or if you can find a car that has been abused and it still has okay capacity. And, and then compared to e-golf and i3, they can just go home. The Soul is just so much better when it comes to charging capabilities. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.